Okay, so the big question of how do you choose keywords? So I'm gonna walk you exactly step-by-step step how I choose keywords for either my clients or for my new apps, and then how I optimize and how we rank for the given keywords um, up in the App Store and the Play Store. Now, um, there's a few variables that they go into the, the effect and I also have a template that I can show you. Now, the first concept to understand is um, long tail and short tail keywords. So short tail keywords are the big keywords that are very important, but also very competitive. So let's say I have a business card app. And if I was just starting out, I would not necessarily go after the word business card because it's a very competitive keyword. It's short tail, meaning that it's, um, a lot of people are competing for it, right? It's, it's, it's right up there with, with all the important keywords. But rather, I would look at some of the, the, the other keywords down the line, down the, so what we call long tail keywords, meaning the keywords that are not so competitive, but keywords that you can actually rank for, right? So it might be something relevant. Uh, I would do, for example, um, business card design, or you know, I would do business card scanner, or some other phrase that are uh, more down the line. And the truth is keyword um, research and optimization, it's a combination of art and science. Now, the science part is that you can actually want to know which keywords you want. You can see the ranking and track it. You can check the competition. The, the art is really coming up with the right keywords. Now, the best way to start with, with keywords um, is I also prepared a little um, sheet here where we have keyword ideas and I'll explain the rest of it as well. Uh, basically open and you can actually, I'm gonna include this one in the notes. Uh, so you can copy and then use the same sheet. But you wanna start putting down all the ideas uh, that you have for keywords. Um, so if I were doing, you know, a business card, then I would put um, business card, and then I would put uh, business card scanner, for example. I would say card design. Maybe in some countries it's called visiting card. You know, and I would just sort of put in as many ideas as I can do. So right now it's all about um, quantity. So get as many keywords as you possibly can, and and then then you know start from there. And it's sort of you know think organically like what is your business about what is your app about what might people be searching and then think of in terms of you know put yourself in the shoes of the user when you open the app store on your phone what kind of keywords do you search for right so if you're looking for um let's say suggestions for a restaurant in your city you know what would you look up there's the obvious brand keywords right so if i was looking for tripadvisor i just put in tripadvisor but maybe you're looking for you know the best restaurant in milan um, and then what kind of keywords would you put in in order to, to find the right right up for that? So think sort of organically and also a good way, the good exercise is to write out a description of your app and then sort of read through it and see what words do you repeat, what, what words are important and what words would people, you know, want to wanna look up. And I'll give you a few more tools to sort of look up. But this is the, the first way is, is, is the organic way to sort of think about your, your keywords. It's and there's not that many keywords that you'll actually end up using. It's just important that you start with as many keywords as possible. Now, if I were starting from the scratch um, and I would, let's say I have some keywords in my mind, um, but I would use a tool called App Annie. Uh, you can look up at appannie.com. Uh, you can sign up for free. And I would start by looking at the competition actually. So um, let's say here's a couple of apps I'm looking at recently uh, and you could choose you know select any app these are app um, app store apps from from apple you could also look up the equivalent for google play um, android apps but let's say i wanted to look into fitbot um, if i were doing any fitness exercise related app this might be you know relevant competition and i would look at fitbot um, and it's a it's a it's a weight lifting app and tracker um, and then once you're in, in app any you can scroll down here and go into keywords and aso this is super interesting. So for any app that you want to look up, you select the store, we'll do you know, iPhone in the United States, and App Annie will show me all the keywords that um, Fitbot is currently ranking for. This is an incredible piece of information, and this is the free version, right? So it shows me, um, for example, the word Fitbot, but it's the brand keyword, which is kind of obvious. Let's say the second keyword, lifting, right? If you type lifting into your app store, this app would be number one. It would be the first app is incredibly powerful to be ranked this highly for such a short tail keyword. It's a very important keyword. Now here it shows results, and this is a bit misleading. 250 is the maximum it shows. So this is not really 250. It could be you know 10,000 apps 
but 250 is the maximum. What it will tell me is that, for example, the keyword FitBot only returned 41 results, meaning only 41 apps popped up looking at this keyword. So when you are starting out, you do not want to compete for these big keywords because there is so much competition. What you want to compete is some of the smaller keywords. For example, strong lift 5x5. Five five. I'm not sure what this means, but basically, if somebody typed it in, only 35 apps popped up. Now, if this was one of your keywords, you have a pretty solid chance of being up there if you focus on that keyword, right? But you can go down the line, you can see the, the change in, in ranking for, for that specific keyword for, for Fitbot. So this is incredible. You can do it with any app, you know, any app store. This is really, really powerful. So check out competition, you know, look at five, 10 different apps and then sort of uh, see what are the keywords. So I will, just for fun, let's take, you know, the keyword gym and gym workout. Uh, so this was for a business card, but let's say there's a different app that we're doing, something fitness related. I would do gym, gym workout. I would do lifting, you know, lifting workout, a bunch of different ideas that I would put in here. Now, and this is related to the rest of the descriptions over here. Once you're done looking at the competition and you take out the most relevant keywords for you that are, you know, good for your app that are relevant for you, you want to jump in another tool called Sensor Tower. Now, Sensor Tower is also, this is the free version. Of course, they have premium versions, but this is the free. Uh, and then I already typed in, uh, I already added the app of Fitbot because I wanted to take a look at it. So you can just add an app and you would put Fitbot there and you would end up um, right here. So the interesting part is that you can look at any app on the app market or the, the, um, the Play Store and it will show you their, their reviews, which is very interesting. It'll show you how many downloads they got last month with a revenue. So right now we're in February 2018. So I can see that last month they got 100,000 downloads and they made $400,000, right? You can see what people think about the app. So it's a pretty highly ranked. So people think good things. So can, again, you can change the app store and see um, which country you want to look at. It also spies on their advertising. So you can see what kind of ads they're running to the description and their category ranking, right? So this is all the, uh, all the apps, but you can choose specific health and fitness and then see what's their category in there. You can see their ratings and you can look at their reviews. And this is a very interesting part. If you're just building your app, you know, look at the competition and see what are the comments, what people are complaining about. And if you can solve those problems, then you have a much higher chance of, of being ranked. And if you don't know what is your competition, you know, find one or two apps and then you can see the related apps and you can see what other apps might be in your space and also look at their keywords. Okay, so now we know, you know, I, now we do this with every single competition uh, and I would check out what they're doing. And then you can go down here into App Store Optimization and click on Keyword Ranking. And this is also very, very interesting. So let's say you want to see um, Fitbot and you want to see what other keywords they might be ranking for that you didn't see in, in App Annie because App Annie only shows you the first top 100. Or let's say this was your app, right? You could have, you launched an app um, and you want to see uh, what you rank for. So you would put in a phrase. So here, one of the phrases that we said was lifting workout. I'll copy that, I'll paste it, and I'll save this keyword. And it'll show me what is the traffic, meaning how many people are looking for this. 0 0.5 is pretty small. So this is, um, this is a, um, uh, a sort of a rating they give to how much traffic this, this keyword is receiving iPhone difficulty, meaning how difficult it would be to rank high on the keyword. 4.2 is pretty high difficulty because it's a um, pretty strong keywords. Now you have the iPad difficulty, iPhone apps, meaning how many apps popped up. It says 615 apps popped up when you looked up this keyword. And um, this app, so the Fitbot currently ranks as number 11 for the keyword lifting workout. And you can do on the free version of app and you can do up to five keywords. Um, this is super, super interesting, right? So also, if you want to know how well you're doing, you can put in any keyword uh, for your app and then see how well you're ranking, you know, how much competition there is. So what I would do is I would take all this information and then put it into the, the spreadsheet that I'm building, right? So let's say traffic here is 0 0.5. iPhone difficulty, uh, it's 4.2, so 4.2 iPhone apps, it shows me there's 615 apps, 615, and the iPhone rank for this specific app is 11. Now, if I were doing this, I would put the rank for my app, right? So if I have a fitness app, let's call it Fitness One, then I would select Fitness One and I would put in these keywords and then see how well my app is ranking. 
Um, oftentimes, if, if you're just starting out, you're not going to rank anywhere. You know, it's going to say zero because you need to build your, your rank as you go higher. So, and I would do this for, you know, as many keywords I can think of. This might take you some time, but this is really how you research the keywords. Now, the magic and the sort of the art and science of the keyword research and implementation is finding keywords that are high in traffic and low in difficulty, right? So ideally you would have a keyword that's five in traffic, for example, and then it's only two in iPhone difficulty, meaning it's a lot of people searching for it, but there's not much competition. And this often happens for keywords that are underserved for, you know, if there's a new trend, let's say, I don't know, there is, so last year crypto was a big thing. And at the beginning, um, there was a lot of traffic on crypto and not so much difficulty. So you choose the, that one. Obviously now it's a bit different and this is very dynamic. So this changes every single day. Now this is how you start. And I would recommend doing this, you know, if you're starting out, do it every month, sort of review your keywords, see how you rank and then, you know, improve the, the ranking. So this is really sort of the strategy. Uh, let's just try another one. You know, what is something that's related to to gym. So I would do gym um, weight. I like to CrossFit. It's like an interesting keyword. So see CrossFit has traffic of 4.9. Many, many more people are looking, uh, looking up um, the word CrossFit uh, over lift and workout. Uh, and it's also a bit of a higher difficulty. So it might be a better keyword, but see, for example, this app is not even ranking for iPhone um, because they don't really care about that keyword. It's not important for them or they're just not targeting it, you know, aggressively. So there is a, there's an offense and defense strategy. Uh, so at the very beginning, you're going to use all offense, meaning that you're going to look at your, your competitors and then see which um, keywords they're ranking for. Maybe not very highly. Like if I was targeting this, I would look at, okay, they are number 10 for workout apps. Now this is a very competitive category, but if I wanted to say that, you know, I want to win on this specific keyword, I would t heavily target this keyword and compete uh, and be offensive uh, and go on offense uh, with this keyword. Uh, and I would put it everywhere into my title, my subtitle, you know, and I would use it in my, in my description and then try to take that keyword. Now, once you build up a bit of ranking, you're going to also want to combine your offense strategy with a bit of defense, right? So you want to use keywords that you already rank for and make sure that you keep the ranking. And it's sort of a, it's, it's a very dynamic, dynamic play. Um, also, you know, some companies, what is sort of a, um, this sort of a gray hat strategy is that you're not really supposed to use your, your competition's brand name in the keywords here. So this is not visible to normal people, but visible to the uh, Apple algorithm. Now, Apple say that you should not use the competition's keywords, but I've never ever heard or any of my friends that are in the industry say they've ever been um, there's never been any consequences from Apple. So Apple never, you know, shut us down or told us anything about it. So I would say, go ahead, um, and do this at your own risk. Um, but it's also one strategy. So, um, what I'm trying to do here, basically, if somebody puts in the word LinkedIn and they're looking for LinkedIn app, if I'm good at this, I will be, you know, high up on that search, even though we're not LinkedIn. So that's sort of a gray hat strategy, you know? And so, Black hat strategies are the ones that are illegal or completely unethical, the ones you should not be using. White hat are the, the, the ones I'm telling you right now, all the, the good strategies that are very popular. And gray hat is sort of a gray zone area. So this is what I could all call a gray hat strategy. And I have a few more of those down the line and I always tell you that it's a gray hat strategy and I'll tell you that you should use it at your own risk. Because um, right now there is no repercussions from Apple or Google, but it might be down the line. So just be aware of that. Now I'll show you one more sort of trick that I use uh, when evaluating keywords. Now the sensor tower and app any tools are third party tools, meaning that they're not from Apple, they're not from Google, it's some companies, um, and they have pretty good intelligence about the app store and the play store, but it's always limited amount of information and it's not never 100% accurate. It's pretty close. It's enough to make your decisions based on this, these um, information that they provide, but it's not 100% accurate. Now, Apple actually gives you a really good tool and it's sort of a um, bit of a hack. So if you open um, your search ads account, so you can do uh, advanced search ads and, and basic search ads. And we have a whole section about search ads. So I'll explain that later. But basically, once you open your account and I will just create a quick campaign to show you what I'm talking about. So let's say I'll take one of, we'll take the business card app again. 
Um, and don't worry about all these. So let's say it came in the United States. Um, and then they have a, so basically how App Store and Play Store work is that you will bid on certain keywords. So if somebody looks up the keyword, salute business cards, um, I can bid on that keyword and say, you know, for every, I'm willing to pay $1 per install uh, for somebody that looks up that keyword. Now, here is the, the little hack, is the search popularity term, right? So you can see how many people are looking up the word LinkedIn, and you can see how popular it is. It doesn't give you a specific number, but it gives you a very good idea of how many people are looking up you know, LinkedIn ads versus LinkedIn versus the VPN. So this keyword is more popular than LinkedIn, right? And so this is very accurate information. It's not displayed in numbers, but you have a pretty good idea of what is popular. So you put any keyword in here, and if we're looking for you know gym um, weights, so that's the keyword we're talking about, um, then you can put it in here, and you see how popular it is. You know, not very popular, um, but you could you know add it. Well, it didn't put the bid, but you would add it in there. Let's say we wanted to look at just gym, and that's obviously way more popular. And you can see also the important part is you can see relevant recommended keywords. So you put in, you know, if we were looking for a gym app, then you can see suggestions on what else might be relevant. So this is also, I would you know, include that in here as the uh, popularity rank, popularity rank. Um, and then I would put in sort of, you know, if you, you make a sort of, if this is a one to 10 um, scale, then you could you know, say that this is, you sort of guess this is about a six. And this is your you know, a, a sort of subjective view at it, but it's also a very good way. So you know, do all of these, put in as many keywords you can think of, um, and then try to find the keywords that are high in traffic, low in difficulty, and high in popularity rank. And if you can find, you know, just, you don't need much. You really need, if you nail one keyword and you get it right, an important keyword that's high in traffic, low in difficulty, that's what can really skyrocket your app. You know, and that's where you really get the good start because all you need is one good keyword and you focus on it and you get it ranking, then bam, you get, you know, high in the App Store rank and you're gonna get a very, very good rewards in a way of getting lots of free installs. This is really, really powerful tools. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I'm gonna share this sheet so you can copy it and use it yourself um, and then basically implement the strategy um, right away. Best of luck.